Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. Yes, this is the YouTube channel that tries to impart our 30 plus years of professional bow and arrow making experience onto you at home, which will hopefully help you with your projects. If you're new to the channel, then please do subscribe if this is the sort of thing that you're after. These are my catch up videos where I basically show you what I've been making during the week so you get to see what bowyers actually do and the products that we actually make for our customers. Uh, for those of you who already are subscribers to our channel, you've probably seen that we've been making some children's bows. We did a couple of videos which I'll put up on the screen here, so you can have a look at those videos if you've missed them. They're those bows that are just behind me over my shoulder. And I've got some footage of them now because they are pretty much finished. There is one more finishing process that I needed to do that wasn't covered in those other, other videos, and that's what I've been doing the last day or two, which is polishing the knocks. Now, believe it or not, you just use a car rubbing down compound, uh, tea cut or similar. It's basically that sort of mild abrasive liquid that you would use on paintwork on cars or Brasso even does the same job. Uh, you apply it to a piece of cloth and then rub like mad until your horn is shiny. And that's the basic instructions of how that works. And they come out really rather nicely. The uh, the black buffalo horn comes up to a nice sort of black sheen and shows off some of the colors that may or may not be present. Uh, these knocks are antique knocks. Again, if you watch the other videos, you'll see, see more information about that as well. Now, one of the other things that I've been doing this week and in fact for the past few months has been sorting out a bow making website, uh, which is howtomakealongbow.co.uk. At least I think that's what it is. I'll put it in the description box below so you can click on the link. I was going to do a sort of grand opening of the uh, website. Um, well, quite honestly, it's something that I am building on constantly, always adding to, adding information to, and indeed these videos all go on there. So really it's a collection of all the information that we're putting out there, videos and written information, plans, pictures. Um, as I say, it keeps expanding all the time and I keep adding to it. So go and have a look at it. It'll hopefully be... Um, like a Wikipedia thing, but for making the English longbow. So hopefully all that information um, that I've learned from my father will eventually go onto that site, uh, hopefully uh, sort of keep preserving it for the ages, if you like. I haven't got kids, I'm not having kids, can't stand them. So I've got no one to pass it on to. So this is my way really of preserving um, what is obviously a very fortuitous and, and special relationship um, uh, of apprentice and master. Uh, I was the first father-son apprenticeship uh, in something like over 400 or 500 years, I can't remember now. So there isn't uh, many of us, to say the least. Uh, and obviously all that information that's been gained in my father's experience, 30 plus years, and my 21 plus years experience, so 50 years um, experience between the two of us, 
uh, needs to be preserved. So yeah, check out the website if you can and if you'd like to. Please share it, let people know about it. Um, and let me know what you'd like to see, what uh, aspects of bow making, arrow making that you'd like us to feature on there. There's plenty of videos in the works. I try and get one out every week if I can. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I've been doing this week. I hope you've been having fun. I hope you've been getting out there in the, in the well, sort of sunshine. It's actually started raining again now. But the kids are going back to school soon, so the sun's bound to come out again, which is always the way. So yeah, happy archerying everybody and uh, yeah, let us know what you want to see in the comment section below and I'll talk to you again soon.